everybody, this is The Great Escape, and welcome to another episode here on our Minecraft Let's Play Life Aquatic server. Um, and we are now in the uh, the new update with 1.83 coming out. As you can see bamboo coming up behind me. I did manage to go out to a jungle biome and find some bamboo. Uh, so this episode is going to be a little bit of, a little bit different because uh, rather than a typical Let's Play, I'm actually going to, this is going to double up as a tutorial video for my bamboo farm, uh, which... I'm gonna be building right over here. I've already kind of laid out an area and prepared a space. Um, it's within the bounds of my uh, Mushroom Island, as far as I can tell based on the color of the water. So I think it should be safe from mob spawning and things like that, but I'm gonna light it up anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, and this is where our little bamboo farm is gonna go. So because this is gonna double as a tutorial video, we're gonna be walking through it, and you'll see that it's a simple, simple, simple build, and it is completely 100% survival ready. Uh, so let's go ahead and get our things together and get right to it. All right, so we've got everything that we need here in our little shulker box. And so you're going to need um, a certain number of pistons and observers. And the number will depend on how many bamboo plants you want to harvest. Um, I'm planning on harvesting 24 bamboo at a time. So I will need 24 observers and 24 pistons. Uh, you could do 12, you could do 6, you could do 48, 64, however many you want to do. It's completely up to you, uh, but I'm doing 24 and 24. You'll need a number of rails and powered rails. Uh, this number will change depending on the size of your farm, but for the 24, 24, this is just about enough. Uh, you'll see, need the same number of redstone blocks as powered rails. You'll need some dirt blocks or um, I think it will also work with sand. Uh, I can't remember what the other options are, but uh, you know something that the bamboo will actually be able to grow on, so that'll be there. Uh, a few hoppers, um, two, it's probably enough, I've got three. Uh, bamboo, uh, and you'll need enough to plant, uh, so I need at least 24. A hopper minecart, the same number of redstone dust as observers, and chests. Uh, I'm going to be using a shulker box. Well, anyway, I'm going to be using a shulker box. Uh, I don't know how things got in that shulker box. Anyways, I'm going to be using a shulker box, but uh, you can also use chests. Um, so that's... Okay, uh, so those will be the things that you'll need. Um, and then you just need kind of a prepared zone. So this is my prepared area, uh, and it's one block high because when I come in here and, let's see, where's the middle, right here? Uh, when I come in here and I place my shulker box here for the collection purposes, um, I didn't want to have to dig down to get to it, uh, but that'll be where it goes. So, you know, you need something that's like this. So you're going to have a zone that's three blocks wide. This is the base zone of your of your farm. This is where the uh, got random things floating over. Uh, this is where your, uh, your actual bamboo is going to grow. And then you're going to have a zone on the sides, which is where your pistons and observers are going to go. Now, it could, it, it can't be two blocks wide in the middle, even though we're only going to do two rows of bamboo, because if you put two bamboo next to each other and then pistons on either side, the pistons will actually start, if they fire at the same time, they'll push each other and it'll actually break the farm. So we do need the three block wide. So you're looking at a minimum here of a, uh, if you want to do a double row of five blocks wide, uh, you could do a single row of this and then you'd pro you would only need, you could get away with it uh, being two blocks wide, uh, but that's what you got. So uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to grab your hoppers and go ahead and you can uh, place them. I'm going to shift click, or not shift click, but uh, R3 click one in there and then R3 one there and that should cover it. Um, so now anything that falls in these hoppers will end up in my shulker box. Um, so that's kind of where you want to go. Now you can put this anywhere. Um, you can put it on this side, you can put it on that side, or you can put it on one of these edges. It doesn't really matter, but that is the zone that you're going for. Now, uh, the next thing you want to do is grab your rails, uh, all your rail materials. So your rails, your powered rails, and your block of redstone. And this is where we're going to actually start laying down our rail line. Now, the, um, the actual growing zone of the of the bamboo is only going to be 12 blocks by three blocks going down here. So it's literally, uh, it's right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12. So that's the, the range. So you can lay a, uh, you know, a, a zone going like this here. And then um, you can either zigzag it back and forth or you can take it down. It, it's completely up to you. I'm going to zigzag. Um, so I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to put a powered rail here. Nope, I'm not. That's silly. Oh, I know what I did. So the first time I built it, I did it like this. Um, now, this is the only growing zone here. Uh, so you could just bring it down and then, you know, do this and go down that way and then circle back around. You will have to uh, put kind of a loop into it so that, you know, you there's a way to, to, to get it so it's constantly going in a, a circle. Uh, you can also, let's see, boom, 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 and then shift, shift. I'm going to pull this here like that, boom, and then like that, and then I'm going to go ahead and do this like this, boom, boom. All right, so now, um, so it's, there's no loop right in it right now. This one right here can be powered. Actually, it could be this one. Uh, there's no loop in it right now because of the fact that there is a end. Uh, there's no end. But if I put a block here, uh, which there's going to be anyway, and I put a block here, uh, when I grab my power rail and put it on the track and get it started, it will bounce back and go like that. And it's going to cross over these two things. So if something were to fall in it, like let's say a piece of cod, it gets picked up and then it gets deposited into our little box. So that is, I'm gonna stop my little cart. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, cart, all right, there you go. All right, so um, so that is the, the, the rail system as it goes. You do need to have those blocks at the end um, so that it will bounce back. You could also build it as a loop. Um, and so that would just be taking it out here and then zigzagging like this, um, going around. But you would need to zigzag it out to here because you have to have straight lines for your powered rail. So that's that. Uh, so that is our bottom zone. So the next step is on top of all the rails, you need to place a block of some kind. So it can be dirt, it can be grass, um, it can be sand, which I guess sand can sit on top of the rails, so you could do it with sand if you wanted. Uh, but you have to do all of that. And you wanna make sure that the these ob are on every place where there's a rail so you know that your full grow area is covered. Um, so again, like I said, we've got a, a three area here um, where those items are gonna go. Now, I will be decorating this and making it look all pretty later on, so I'm not too su concerned about the look of it. Um, but then along the sides, you're probably also gonna need a another line of blocks here uh, to support what you're going to do because we will be building up there. Um, I'm not gonna put that line there just simply because eventually it's gonna be like uh, stone slabs or things like that, but you will have a line of blocks going there. So this is our, our, our build zone and this is what it looks like. And now uh, you just need to build up on the edges and I'm gonna do mine with glass. It needs to go above the rails, so anywhere that there's rails, you're gonna go out. So it should be 12 blocks, so one, two, three, four, five, six, oops. <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Uh, so it's 12 blocks out in that direction, and then you'll need to do two on the end like this, boom, or sorry, three on the end like that, and then 
12 blocks on this side, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then again uh, you'll put a, a, another round on that, uh, and so you'll end up with something that looks like this and then those are all those dirt blocks are temporary blocks uh, but that is the the that's kind of the base collection area all in place and your thing is almost ready we've got just a couple more things to do all right so looking at your thing it should look something like this uh, you know any block can go on the side um, but it does need to be grass or whatever on the bottom and then on top of each of those blocks there this is where we're going to start actually building our redstone mechanism so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my all the things I'm gonna need for redstone elements uh, and this is where we're gonna start putting in those things uh, so on top of each of the side blocks this is where you're going to put a, your pistons. So I've got 12 some two on each side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then 12 on this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Like so. Um, so simple, simple, simple enough. And then on top of each of those pistons, you're going to put an observer, except it's not going to be facing this way. Your observer is going to be facing this way, and this can be a little bit tricky, so you might need to, um, you know, put a temporary line of blocks like this. Or if you have scaffolding blocks, you can use scaffolding blocks. Uh, but you're going to put observers on top of each piston facing this way, like this. All right, so once you have all of your um, your observers in place. The next step is that on the back of each of these we need to put a block of some kind that you can place red or that will conduct a redstone signal. So oh wait sorry <laughs> on the back I was looking at that and I was like that's completely wrong. On the back of each of these you're gonna need to place a block that'll conduct a redstone signal. Um, so it could be a um, you know it could be dirt like this it could be something that you can place the redstone dust on top of. Um, so not all blocks will allow you to do that, but you could do half slabs or, or things, but you are gonna be going across like this, and you're gonna place a block on the back of each one. And I did lose some. Like so. And then on top of each of those blocks, you're gonna put redstone dust going across like this and we'll do it on this side too like so and believe it or not your farm is complete it is done all we have to do is put the bamboo in there but now anytime bamboo grows up and it gets in front of one of these it's gonna launch all those pistons uh, on both sides like that now you could link it them up together so that both sides fire simultaneously I wouldn't recommend it uh, but that's that now um, so before I go ahead and put in my collection devices and things like that um, a couple I'm gonna go ahead and plate plant my bamboo um, so where you're going to put your bamboo is obviously right in front of each place where you have a piston. So you're going to have um, on each, this side, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And just because the bamboo um, grows in all these weird ways doesn't mean that it's going to mess things up. Because the piston will, oh gosh. Okay, uh, bamboo does grow very fast, so the system will start going really quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and place my minecart in so it can start collecting anything that does grow. And we'll go from there. Now, a um, couple quick notes that you need to build up these edges as high as the observers. Uh, this is going to prevent um, some of the bamboo from shooting off the edges and going, you know, over the pistons and things like that. You may even want to do another row on top um, so that it's uh, four high around. So that'll completely 100% uh, in all likelihood prevent um, any uh, bamboo from shooting up and it might be a good idea also to fill in these corners because things do have a tendency in Minecraft to like glitch through these types of gaps uh, but that's that so let's give this a second and see if it'll harvest while we're watching
there we go. So we got our first harvest there. So you saw how quickly that happened. I didn't speed anything up or do whatever. And that gives us six bamboo. It harvested again, let's see. Eight, nine nine bamboo in just a few seconds so th as you can see this is an incredibly um, efficient farm and it's 100 percent lossless because of the way we're collecting the bamboo and because there's no weird edges for the bamboo to fall onto it's only going to fall into this collection zone and the uh, minecart's going to obviously collect everything but as you can see it is a smart idea to build up on top because you saw that one little piece of bamboo did um, fly up here instead of ending up down there uh, so i would recommend putting another layer up here of blocks to prevent that from happening or even putting a, a you know transparent roof on this uh, glass or whatever which is what I'm gonna do uh, but that is it that is uh, the completed farm um, so if you uh, enjoyed this kind of mixed video because it is me building it on my uh, update aquatic world where uh, so this is my survival world that I've been playing with in the let's play uh, but if you enjoyed uh, this uh, tutorial slash let's play episode please drop a like down in the this or down if you drop a like uh, or a subscription it really does help the channel out and it boosts the numbers and all those wonderful things and it uh, and if you enjoy this content other people may as well uh, but, and if you really liked it make sure to subscribe leave me a comment give me some suggestions about things to do love to have uh, conversations with people down in the comment section and thank you so much for all of wrong button thank you so much for all of the support um and the uh we're approaching 150 something likes or uh, subscriptions now and we're on our road to two hundred subscribers and thank you to every single one of you who's already done so but uh this has been the great escape and i will see you next time p.s uh it was only after i made the farm that i realized exactly how cheap scaffolding blocks were um whoop i may have more than i'm ever going to use uh so the farm is super efficient and we'll give you everything you need Oh, and also P.S. By the way, uh, so the Christmas holiday is coming up, and so this will be the last video that I'll be posting for a little while because um, I'm going home to visit my family. But after uh, the 25th and whenever I get back home, I'm planning on uh, doing some big, uh, some progress updates on some things around this world as well as maybe some more farms or things. But happy holidays to everybody, um, and I will see you soon. <laughs>